Hello my lovelies, here are your Ascension Oracle readings for June for the sign of Aquarius. How are you doing? I hope you're all well. So I've tuned into your energies and I've been given a vision um, as I have for all the other signs. Um, now this is a very interesting one um, because it feels like you are um, you're waking up, you've been, you've been given a completely different view of life. So what I saw was, um, it was a female, a young female in a room and um, it was daytime but, and the curtains were open but there was a very, very thick um, lace curtain at the windows. So there were a few little puddles of light coming through um, but that was just your view. That was the view you had. There was nothing else. Just this big um, net curtain. And you had no idea that you could um, remove that curtain. You had no idea that you were allowed to take it down. And there was a just an acceptance of that's how life looks. So I'm in this room. Um, yes, it's daytime, um, but I, can, I can't really see through um, clearly what is out there. Um, just getting a little bit of um, light through, but it's all quite distorted. And then I was shown Rapunzel in her tower. And the fairy tale of uh, Rapunzel, who was locked away in a tower by her wicked stepmother. And... Over the years, her hair grew very, very, very long. So when her stepmother came uh, to bring her food, she would call and say, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. So Rapunzel would let her hair down um, on the top of the tower and her stepmother would uh, ascend with a basket of food, etc. And so again, within that story, this girl had no concept of freedom of what life could be like outside um, and obeyed what her stepmother commanded her to do and then one day a young man was going through the forest and he saw what was happening and he heard the stepmother call and he saw this beautiful girl at the window letting down her beautiful gold locks. So he waited until the stepmother had left and then he crept from behind the tree and he called to her, asking her to let down her hair, which she did. And he climbed up her hair and that was her first encounter with a young man. So I'm asking why I've been shown this um, vision for you and it doesn't feel it's just for ladies watching it's for guys as well as girls and for some of you you have only had um, a certain vision of life that it's been blurred that it's been um, there's been an obstruction there's um, there's been no clarity there's been no um, nothing colourful and to be locked away in a room so sometimes uh, for some of us we go through our lives and we think well this is it this is how life is there's nothing else um, I just do the routine I live the mundane life um, I allow other people to control me I do what I'm told um, and that's just the way that it is so within this um, vision, this is what is saying to me for you, lovely Aquarians, um, through the month of June and well, well beyond, this is a time of freedom, of escape, of um, um, trusting that something is going to come into your life, something or somebody or some situation is going to come into your life to remove that um, net curtain, to remove the veil, to allow you to see um, clearly what is actually out there um, and how different that your, your life can be, that you are not um, um, 
no longer going to be controlled by anybody else or manipulated by anybody else um, and um, descend from this tower. So the image of um, the tower, so in within the tarot, um, the tower is um, what we call a tower moment is when things come and completely disrupt your life. So it's like having the rug pulled out from underneath you and everything flies up in the air and you're not quite sure where you're going to land. Um, so there is an aspect of that um, running through June for you, that sort of energy. So it surprises, it's um, um, shocks, it's things coming out of the blue um, unexpectedly. But there's a part of yourself that has been longing for change, that's been longing for um, to be rescued, that's been longing to... Um, let down your hair and um, to meet up with a like-minded person or uh, people or situation where uh, you feel that you are set free. So um, traditionally um, and sort of throughout ancient history, hair, our hair, is to do with our strength. So you may, might know the story of um, Samson and Delilah. And um, he was a strong, big strong guy and he had long, long hair. And she was persuaded um, that when he was sleeping, she should cut his hair, which she did, um, foolishly. And he lost his strength because of it. He could no longer hold up all of these um, heavy objects, etc. And in the sort of Wiccan tradition, um, it is said that um, witches have long hair because that is to do with their power, their sense of power. So within the story of uh, Rapunzel, as she lets down her hair, this is actually to do with her own um, sense of power, but she has no realisation of it um, at the time. So for you guys running through this... Um, energy of June. You are an air sign. We're in Gemini, which is an air sign. So Rapunzel being at, right at the very top of the tower, this is like the, um, the air sign energy. So it's your head, how you think about things, how you communicate, how um, you, you speak, how you let things be known, how you share information, how information comes to you. Um, how um, knowledge um, um, sort of comes up from the depths, how um, something enters your life that on a deep level you've been longing for, um, and when it does enter, it's, it is a surprise. Um, and it will come in the form of um, perhaps a whisper. Perhaps a whisper. Now... There's a lovely um, author called Bruno Bettelheim, and he wrote a lovely book called The Uses of Enchantment, which I highly recommend you read. And he goes through many of the different fairy tales that we're all familiar with. Um, and he, um, on a psychological level, tells us who all of these different characters are. And really, they're all parts of us. So um, the Wicked Stepmother is a part of us the um, sort of main characters in the fairy tales are usually about 13 or so so they're just coming into puberty so Rapunzel is that part of us that's um, um, still naive still has this sense of wonderment and um, um, wants romance wants an adventure, wants wonderful things to come into their life and it's important that you hold on to that, that part of yourself that is um, young and naive and, and open to um, adventures coming in. And also this sense of um, uh, your own empowerment, because if you've been going through your life thinking, I can't touch that curtain, I can't remove that curtain, I'm not allowed to, well... This is you moving beyond that now and saying, well, I, I, I no longer accept that. Now I'm going to remove 
that curtain, whatever that curtain is in your lives, and to look out and say, wow, I never saw it like that before. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that amazing? And that you have the ability to get out of your own tower, to let your hair down, and to have the adventure of a lifetime. So the um, the oracle cards that have shown up are <laughs> um, feeding into this uh, vision, I would say, because um, this is uh, from Healing with the Angels. You have the card of enchantment. So this is an exquisitely beautiful unicorn. And if you look, he's coming out of his nose is his breath so he's he's moving there's movement there's motion here there's a sense of um, um feeling the grass under your feet for the very first time now horse energy is to do with our own sense of personal power and how we can give it away to others um but in this beautiful depiction he's a unicorn as well so he's a horse a magical horse with a beautiful horn. So this is you not only um, embracing your personal power materially speaking, it's also embracing it um, magically speaking and spiritually speaking. So how you now feel your feet on the earth. So um, feel that, as I say, that grass underneath your feet for the first time. And also as he's breathing out, it's expelling getting rid of all of that frustration and his beautiful golden you know it's, it's Rapunzel isn't it really and that beautiful golden hair and flying in there's a swan okay so in this picture he's flying in from the left so it's something leaving um, that sense of um, singledom, that aloneness, because the swans mate for life. So this is saying if you're on your own, then somebody definitely is coming in and you've got, you've been freed, you are released now to um, work with that enchantment, work with that magic, work with that sense of your own self-empowerment. Because the wicked stepmother can no longer control you. And if you look at the word enchantment, chant is in the middle. So to chant anything, to chant a word, is like an affirmation to say something over and over again that is positive. When en is put in front of a word, n, it means with. So enjoy, with joy, um, entrance, so with trance, being able to see, enchantment, with a chant, with affirmations, with um, a positive way of doing things. And the gold of it is beautiful because it's, uh, gold is the colour associated with angels, with fairies, with um, nature spirits, so this ability to um step back into that childlike naivete um a complete and utter trust um that what you're moving into now is blessed it's sacred it's beautiful um it's release it's freedom from whatever um you have allowed to control you in the past so whether it is an outside person a la um Wicked stepmother, or, or it's your own inner um, fears and ego that's um, locked you away in this tower. You are now free. You're free to move forward into something that is um, totally magical. And this will bring you clarity. So you have the Angel of Clarity with you through June, and you see this little this angel has got um, it looks like a telescope or a, um, a device to see clearly to see further and up on the horizon there's the sunshine 
coming up over the horizon. So if you've had the neck curtains, yes, and you can only just sort of peek through, they're being dissolved. Rip them down, it's a bit like um, <sighs> in Great Expectations, David Lean's wonderful movie, if you've seen it with John Mills in it, um, towards the end of the movie, um, Pip goes into Miss Havisham's home um, and he opens up all of the wooden shutters in the room where she's lived for years and years in her wedding dress. Um, he opens up the shutters and he pulls the curtains down. He pulls the, um, the nets down um, and opens up the windows. So there's suddenly a room that was gloomy suddenly the light pours in and um, the fresh air and it moves that awful stagnant stale rotting um, poisonous energy out so whatever you've had going around in your mind circulating in your bodies um, been living off thinking or um, believing that that's that's life that's it you know it can't change it can it's definitely um, <clears throat> I'm hearing the phrase a new broom sweeps clean so something's coming in to sweep away all of that negative um, energy that's been uh, you've been stuck in And some of it maybe sort of have been planted in you from a very early age. So um, our belief system stem from um, even when we're in the womb, we start to build up um, patterns and programming while we're in the womb. Um, and then when you pop out um, everything that comes at you, we take it on um, into us and that becomes our belief systems. So a lot of what's coming into your life is going to shake you up with regard to what you believe in. And then to see, well, are those my beliefs or are they my family's, my ancestors' beliefs? Do they apply to me? Oh, I don't think so. Um, and then so that those blinkers can be taken off and you can see life in a very, very different way. So I've asked for an animal card for you. Now this is, this is lovely. This is fox energy. Foxy fox energy. Okay. Now, the fox is to do with camouflage, that ability to be invisible. So even though you're in a crowd or, a, you know, a room full of people, you cannot be seen. Sometimes that goes against us because we feel like we're ignored or um, people can't see us when we want to be seen. Um, but in this um, case, you running through June is that ability to camouflage yourself so yes you are present um, but you're not um, leaking energy you're not projecting anything out there um, that you don't want to that you don't want to share with anybody else it's keeping things close to your chest and also Fox energy is about being the observer so you're there you're present you can't be seen but you're watching what's going on and you might be able to um, discern people's situations that are um, uh, have been detrimental to you in the past. So, for example, with Rapunzel, she only knew her stepmother. She didn't know anybody else. And she only knew her as the person who brought her food um, and you know, clothes or whatever else that she needed. So her view of life was very restricted. So she didn't know she was a wicked stepmother until she escaped from the place. She just knew her as this, this benefactor, this person that fed her and brought her stuff. Um, so with the fox energy, it's actually having clarity, seeing someone or some situation in a totally different light and that can be shocking 
that can shock your socks off because if you thought this person was like this all these years when in actual fact they were manipulative they were controlling they were restricting you this is you seeing the truth of it having that big aha moment what do you do about it okay on another level this could be um, <laughs> um like a private detective they're saying um um it might, it might apply to to somebody watching um um that you've been um asked to observe um a person a situation that is possibly a bit dodgy or um suspect um and being um invisible so you're not noticeable at all um you know that's one way of looking at it um so if you're not a professional um, um, secret detective, um, it can be your ability to uh, watch, to see, to observe um, person person situation um, for yourself or on behalf of someone else where um, you're not noticed, you're not um, in their eye line um, it can also be that you're um, maybe doing research on something so you might have an interest in, in joining a company or um, you might have been asked to um, go into a partnership with someone business wise so to do the research about them to find out things about them without them knowing um, because your inquisitive self needs to be able to trust and you want clarity on the situation do I put my energies into this? I can shut up in a tower for God knows how long um, do I really want to put my um, trust in um, this person who supposedly rescued me so when the prince came along and um, asked Rapunzel to let down her hair that was the second person that she met in her life, a male energy. And so she might have just flung herself into his arms and said, oh, wow, you're my rescuer. How wonderful. But he could be equally as manipulative and um, controlling. So um, whatever is around you going through June, yes, there is a sense of freedom. Yes, there is this ability to break out of something that's held you um, back for a while. But do your homework. Do your homework. So with the little baby mini fox card, it says, blend in. Avoid being the centre of attention. Become protective when needed. You can emerge at some time, you know, say, ta -da, I'm here. But... As we're going through June, it just feels like you need to, um, as I say, blend in. Um, if somebody asks your opinion on something, um, you can be vague. Um, you can say, oh yeah, I really need to look into that, so don't give anything away. But you do have that ability just to not be seen. Um, it's a bit like Harry Potter's um, cloak of invisibility. Um, which can be very, very useful at times. Um, yeah, become protective when needed. So uh, protecting your own energies, your own um, ideas of um, what it is you want to do with your life. So the changes that you make. So some, some of this um, energy that we're going through is so dramatic in this, this huge upheaval um, and not wanting to, to fall fall apart completely and be a great big puddle on the floor is to hold on to um, that inner core, that um, inner strength and if that means that you don't have the stamina or the energy to share anything with anybody else that's fine so until we find this sort of equilibrium and this balance again is just to 
take a step back be foxy be the little fox so the trust card says having recognized my mastery i trust myself i am able with each connection i make to base it firmly in trust both in myself and in the one i face so as i said there's can be people coming into your life who appear to be your rescuer or your um, benefactor. And as you work with this um, energy, foxy energy, is to be able to discern where they are actually coming from. I'm not jumping into a situation too soon, um, finding out what you can find out in a um, in a quiet way and then when you feel ready to be able to step forward and say yes i trust this person yes this feels right to me yes i'm going with this or just say well no i don't trust this person i don't trust this situation i'm not putting my energy into that um i'm going to um explore things in a rather different way now i've asked for a romance angel card for you so this is yeah interest one this could be the one and it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek so those of you who are um in a partnership it feels like um, you will be taking your partnership to another level. Um, again, with the, um, the vision of Rapunzel, it's seeing someone in their true light. So, again, there might be revelations for you with regard to um, the partnerships you're in at present. Um, and it's not necessarily negative. Um, it can be that... Um, you see a part of them that really needs to shine and you are the one who gives them that boost, that support, that um, encouragement to say, do you know, there's something, you've got these talents and abilities and, and they're so brilliant, you really need to do something about it and share it with other people. I'm here for you to help you with that. Um, and so you are giving a, a part of yourself because the other person is reflecting it back to you. You're sharing something with each other. So um, whatever you see in another that is uh, bright and shiny, but um, it's hidden under the bushel, it's a reflection for you. So you have something within you that this other person is um, reflecting back to you. So again, that can allow you to step along a different pathway, trusting totally. That you will have clarity on the situation and with regard to this um, beautiful depiction here there's a couple okay he is taking her hand in both of his with a view to perhaps kissing it However, her stance, the way she's reacting, it's not completely wholehearted yet. So it's not she's not exactly pulling away, but this hand here, that she's resting on the chair. So there can be a little bit of, um, um, oh, I'm not quite sure. Oh, this is a surprise. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Um, and also the colours are interesting. So he's wearing red, she's wearing white or cream. So the red energy on the one hand can be like the traffic light stop. Red is also associated with our first chakra, which is tribal energy. It's survival energy. It's to do with money. She's wearing white or cream which depicts um, virginity, uh, naivety, 
um, also spiritual, um, that essence of spiritual um, energies. And again, there are the three little angels up there who are overseeing what's going on. So you are protected, you're very much protected um, as to whatever situation shows up for you. Um, just, just, yeah, take your time. Just take your time. You don't have to jump out of the frying pan into the fire. You don't have to step into a new situation immediately. Just trust your gut, trust your senses. Um, look into the situation, people coming into your lives. Find out about things. And you can do it in a very subtle way. So, we'll, we'll finish off with a Angel of Abundance card and see what we've got there. Cooperation instead of competition. So we've got three beautiful angels there playing three different instruments. So we have a harp, the mandolin and a trumpet. And it says, what's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete as there's an abundance for all. You have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnerships, you can accomplish anything. So I feel that part of the um, message here for you is that perhaps in the past you've been burned um, or um, backstabbed or wounded by um, others around you with regard to how you give and share things in your life and so you might have taken a step back um, and withdrawn from um, sharing yourself your energies with other people but what's coming in for you is that that sense of competition is leaving because for these little angels to make uh, make music, uh, to sing a song, to play a tune, they have to work together. Otherwise it's discordant, it's out of harmony. So you are drawing people, situations into your life now that you work um, concordantly, in harmony. There's no dissonance. And um, on your own, you're pretty jolly good. But in um, uh, bringing other people in, you will make things much sweeter. And that's using the enchantment. So using words in such a way that the repetition of them makes, um, makes things manifest. It's magical, it's enchanting, it is um, positive manifestation energies coming in. So my lovelies, I hope that's been of some help to you. Um, it is a bit convoluted, I know, um, but that's how it's been given to me this month. So I'd love to hear your comments. Um, and uh, please like and share and subscribe to the channel because that really helps things to grow. Um, if any of you would like a, a personal session with me, we can delve more deeply into what's going on for you guys. If you're interested in any of my artwork, like my beautiful um, guide Andreas here, all of that's in the description box below. So enjoy June. It will have its challenges, but also this... Um, breakthrough. So I'll love you and leave you until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.